All right, folks, here we go. It is replacement day for this dripping faucet at my neighbor's. So come along, let's get to fixing. This is the Moen Renza. Take a look right here under helpful tools. It says screwdriver and a wrench. So this should be a very simple install. We shall see. So check out this train. This is all single piece now, one piece of plastic with a rubber gasket that goes on top of the sink, rubber gasket that goes on bottom of the sink. I really don't use this ring. I usually silicone with this plastic type stuff, but you know what? Let's try it. It's my next door neighbor. I'll always come back and fix a leak. Man, this plate's super heavy. Pretty solid. Good job, Moen. I like that. Uh, we won't be using that today. We're actually just going to be mounting this straight to the countertop, single hole. I've never seen these new things. I didn't know Moen redesigned their drains. A little interesting style. Looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Anybody installed one of these? Some water off. Boom. And boom. Put a towel down. Bet I already know what that is. I bet it's the UPC stamp right down here. And we're gonna go ahead and get this faucet disconnected. A little six inch Kanai Pet Cobras. These things are awesome. Interesting thing about Price Fisters, they have these little retainer clips right here that you can just pull out like a little hand grenade pen. Drop that bad boy. Actually just pull this whole supply line down and get all this stuff out of your way. It likes assistance to pull out. Just so you know, that makes it super easy. Right, see up here, that's pretty rusted. It's all ate up there. It looks like it's leaked a little bit. This faucet particularly wasn't sealed that great. This neighbor gave me this basin wrench, brand new, not, not but a couple weeks ago, and I'm back over at his house using it. You start to get into rusty stuff, make sure you protect your eyes. Okay, luckily that came off. Bend that back straight, that's gonna fall. Now we'll just be able to pull this out. Looks like it's been leaking for a little bit down in there. Get that cleaned up a little bit. This faucet is not gonna seal if it's not on a flat surface. Half on, half off, not gonna work for us. I grab the fine multi-master. So layers that are definitely just wet. Guess we'll see if we have to cut more. Yeah, that's gonna work out. Make sure your O-ring is in the bottom of this before you put it in place. All right, that is what's gonna seal into this single hole. There's put right down in there. This doesn't wanna stand up at all. So you're gonna have to do a little adjusting. So this nut that's gonna secure this piece, it actually is gonna go right inside this. It's got its own tool. These tools work really well. You're gonna wanna grab these supply lines, put the washer and the nut on. We'll get this right here started and secured. Not super tight because you need to center this, right? That's one of the reasons why it leaked before. Once you get that set up, and you know it's straight, then we can go back down below. Just give it the final snug with this. This bad boy is all hooked up. Ain't gonna move. It's gonna be awesome. Model number, serial number, it's gonna have all this stuff on a tag. Slap that right on here, hand tight. If the angle stops were actually up here where they're supposed to be, this actually would make a nice loop and go right in there, but grab a little opening or get this tightened down. You don't have to take these and wrench these down super crazy to get them to work. A half to maybe almost a full turn after hand tight. All right, now we can grab our bucket here. We'll drop the trap. Go right up here. 
here, this little funky monkey right there. Come right up top, pull this out. Mm. Yeah, that's nasty. We're gonna have to clean that up a little bit. All right, we'll take our new drain with gasket on it. Set it right down inside there. All right, so like the bad YouTuber I am, I actually forgot to film installing this part. But what I did was I put some mega lock on here. You can see it, I put top and bottom. That way this ring right here will slide and the gasket will stay in place. It's a good practice. Then you're able to move on to the next step. I just went hand tight, didn't tighten it any tighter. So now we gotta go right here, right? You can see that that's been leaking for quite a little while as well. And just as I suspected, that's actually setting right on the UPC stamp. Okay, so now there's a couple ways to do this. You can grab some sanding cloth, or I just usually grab a knife and just gently start shaving. One side down, one more to go. Grab our cleaned off stuff here. I'm still gonna pop some mega lock on here. Pop the reducer washer on there. These guys were dopers. There's already some mega lock on there. Lastly, we'll get this one tight. All right, and now we're gonna start testing. We will pop this drain right here in. Make sure the drain fills up, and then we'll drain it here in a sec. Check it again. I don't see any kind of leaking anywhere. Drain that bad boy. Oh yeah. Let's do that again. There is no leaking going on right there either. I like to see that. Third time, last time. That right, should be good. Like, we, everything's good, tested. It all looks very well. Uh, there is no water anywhere. Hey. I like it. So nine times out of 10, you're gonna have to do some kind of improvising like I did in this video, right? Having to cut out some wood to put in the faucet, having to scrape off some stuff to put in the drain and make it not leak. There's so many things sometimes that it gets overwhelming. Well, I hope these little tips and tricks are helping people. If you guys could please subscribe, click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, just trying to help people. We hope we're doing that. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again real soon.